Yeah. Alright, uh, welcome to another episode of This Is Sevens. We are on our way up to the Commonwealth Games Village. We left the Vale this morning. We're up to the NEC here in Birmingham. I think we've got a bit of a wait for a PCR test before we can head off to the village. So today I'm going to answer all those questions you asked on YouTube and Instagram. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I think we had yeah, a nice bit of dry. Yeah. Three <laughs> deals. Paragliding off Tabor Mountain. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's Let's get him for seven. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> waiting for seven. Oh, oh, guys, so you you yeah. said, nah, I'll leave it. No, no, I, I was, put the hard cards back. The you wrong. said, I'll leave I it. You said, I'll leave it. Wait, wait, wait. No, that's it. So we've just had our COVID test and we now have about a 90 minute wait. We've picked up our accreditation, so ready to get into the village. Could be an hour and a half, could be two hours, and then off to Warwick where we're staying. So I've got a bit of time, so I'm going to answer some of the questions. Here is the first one, whether Wales has won the Commonwealth Games. We have not. The highest finish, I think, is fifth. Personally, I've played in, this is the third Commonwealth Games that I've played in. So I played in Glasgow in 2014, Gold Coast in 2018. And we finished sixth and then seventh in those. So I'm looking to go a little bit better, try and get up into the medals this time. In terms of how I think we'll do this week, so last week you would have seen on the Instagram that we were away in Bucharest in Romania. That was part of the World Cup qualifiers. So there was four spots left for the World Cup that's going to happen in Cape Town at the end of this summer. And we were lucky enough to win the quarterfinal against Belgium to qualify there. We played well over that weekend, so we're looking to take some of that form into the Commonwealth Games uh, next weekend. We're looking to go a little bit better than the 6th and the 7th that I finished before. Interest, interest, interest. Interestingly, this is only the seventh time that Rugby Sevens has been in the Commonwealth Games. So this will be my third. I've almost played in 50% of the competitions that have ever happened. On to the next question, and yes, I did play 15s when I was younger. I played fullback or 10 primarily, and I was lucky enough to get into the Scarlet Academy here in Wales at the age of 15. So I was in a pretty much professional 15 setup right up until I was 18 and decided to go off to university. Played a few years of 15s in uni, but from the time I was kind of 17, I realised that sevens was a bit more my calling, something I enjoyed a lot more, the chance to travel, uh, and that's what I've been doing ever since. So this third question, I get asked quite a lot. A lot of players thought that I played scrum half growing up, but like I said in the second question, I was 10 or 15. Best way to improve it is just to watch current players, see what the professionals are doing. You pick up lots of tips and tricks there. And then the main thing is just practice, practice, practice. Scrum half passing is quite good. You can do it on your own, just doing passes, 10, 20 off each hand every day, just up against a wall. And uh, you do that consistently and you'll see massive improvements. So next one about the Athletes Village, we are staying away in Warwick University which they've turned into one of the satellite villages. I think there's about five places being used as accommodation. I'll definitely show you around that. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to show us around the whole village as uh, I think it's about 40 minutes to an hour away. Excuse me, man. So this next question, I'm very excited. It's my third Commonwealth Games, but I'm still buzzing, looking forward to it. I'll go and ask one of the younger boys now, see what they think. Yeah, it definitely feels uh, more exciting than a World Series leg, just because it's as close as we've got to a, a home home games, uh, as close to Wales as we can. So hopefully there'll be a lot of uh, home support coming up to watch the boys. Um, playing different nations that aren't always on the World Series or the European legs are going to be interesting and just a, a whole new experience, uh, especially coming to my first games. Um, no, you don't even need an agent. I've never had one. I just basically played for Ponty and then got picked up from there, really. Same for me, I've never had an agent. Um, particularly within service, I don't think you need it. There's not too much in terms of like negotiations that need to go on. The best thing if you do want to go onto the World Seven Series is just play as much sevens as possible. Playing the invitational tournaments that lead to playing some international invitational tournaments, and the, the international coaches are always watching those. So best way to get onto the series. Because wasn't that the autumn? 
Because wasn't that the order? Oh, 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 oh it's don't see it. You didn't get it. You didn't get it. Oh, I will. See that? See that going to white type? Oh my god, oh shit. Um, he? Can you two stop shouting, please? Trying to put some content in. Who? Can I get it? Yeah, you are. Oh, get me up to it. You can do it as many times as you want to do as well. Covid testing all done, grab badge check, waiting to get on the bus. 40 minutes until we get to Warwick. University. Bash. Another question, Marta. How excited are you about the Commonwealth Games? This being your first one. Buzzing. Can't wait. Couldn't sleep last night. He was up sending gifts to Carson all night. It's a grim win, the sheep win, which I like skating. You've just seen some fields that day, though. Twitch superstar. Find him at Shep underscore dog 56 on Twitch every Sunday, every Monday. So we've made it to the village. We are in the student halls here at the University of Warwick. So there's about seven of us to a flat and we've got a kitchen. Everybody's got their own room. I'll do another video where I'll show you around our room and the rest of the village. And then I've just got a couple more questions to answer. So do I have any pre-match or match day rituals? Generally, no. So my thinking behind it is just, if you have something like that, say you've got to put your boots on, you, you have lucky socks, boxes, whatever it is, or you've got to do certain amount of things to, to make you feel ready, completely fine for you. I just always saw it as if it was something that could easily go wrong. So say someone lost your lucky socks in the wash leading up to the week, suddenly would your mental kind of preparedness be thrown all over the shop. So I've tended to stay away from these little rituals. The only thing I make sure I do is, if I can get something done as early as possible in the day, then I'll do it, whether it's packing the kit the night before, making sure that we've done some, uh, like a warm up or a primer in the morning. Just these simple things, the earlier I can do them, uh, it just makes me feel ready for a game, gets me in the right mental state. So uh, there's quite a lot of you saying good luck, so thanks very much. It's a huge tournament, the Commonwealth Games. We're all buzzing to be a part of it. And lastly, how is the Welsh team selected? So the majority of us have been involved with a region before coming into the Sevens programme. Equally, there's a good group of boys who have played a lot on the invitational circuit or in university, and then they've come into the programme. So there's plenty of ways in. Like I said in one of the earlier questions, just try and play as much as possible. Really improves your chances of being seen by selectors. Coaches are always watching invitational tournaments. Um, and once you get your foot in the door, uh, there, you just need to train, play hard, and uh, hopefully make it to that international stage. Dioch and Val for watching. Thank you for sending your questions. If you have any more, just drop them in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to probably try and do a video showing you around the whole village and the room tour uh, in the next one, so stay tuned for that.